The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me and sent me to preach the good news to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Today the church remembers St. Vincent de Paul, the founder of the Vincentians. Let us begin this Holy Mass by asking the Lord for forgiveness for our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ of mercy. Christ of mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who for the relief of the poor and the formation of the clergy endowed the priest St. Vincent de Paul with apostolic virtues, grant, we pray, that a fire with the same spirit we may love what he, what he loved and put into practice what he taught through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. This word of the Lord of hosts came. Thus says the Lord of hosts, I am intensely jealous for Zion, steered to jealous wrath for her. Thus says the Lord, I will return to Zion, and I will dwell within Jerusalem. Jerusalem shall be called the faithful city, and the mountain of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain. Thus says the Lord of hosts, old men and old women, each with staff in hand, because of old age, shall again sit in the streets of Jerusalem. The city shall be filled with boys and girls playing in its street, thus says the Lord of hosts. Even if this should seem impossible in the eyes of the remnant of this people, shall it in those days be impassable in my eyes also, says the Lord of hosts. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Lo, I will rescue my people from the land of the rising sun and from the land of the setting sun. I will bring them back to well within Jerusalem. They shall be my people, and I will be their God with faithfulness and justice. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will build up Zion again and appears in all his glory. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appear in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute, and not despise their prayer. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. Let this be written for the generation to come and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height from heaven. He beheld the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoners to release those doomed dying. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. The children of your servants shall abide, and their posterity shall continue in your presence, that the name of the Lord may be declared in Zion and his praise in Jerusalem, when the people gather together and the kingdoms to serve the Lord. 
the Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all His glory. Alleluia, alleluia, the Son of Man came to serve and to give His life as a ransom for many. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. An argument arose among the disciples about which of them was the greatest. Jesus realized the intention of their hearts and took a child and placed it by his side and said to them, Whoever receives this child in my name receives me. And whoever receives me, receives the one who sent me. For the one who is least among you, is the one who is the greatest. Then John said in reply, Master, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to prevent him because he does not belong to our company. Jesus said to him, Do not prevent him, for whoever is not against you is for you. My sisters, my brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Nagtalo-talo ang mga alagad. Labindalawa, ano ang pinagtalunan? Sino ang pinakadakila? Nagpatalbukan. Hindi sinabi sa atin kung ano ang kanilang basihan, kung bakit si Pedro ang pinakadakila, o si Mateo, o si Juan, o, si Lu o sino pa sa labindalawa. Kung translate natin sa ating sitwasyon, pwede nating itanong din. Sa kakaunting naririto ngayon, sino sa atin dito ang pinakamalapit sa Diyos? Sino sa atin dito ang hindi kailangan ng mahabang panalangin? Novena, Rosario, para lamang pakinggan ng Diyos. Sino sa atin ang isang bulong lang kay Lord? Sasagot na si Lord. Sino sa atin ang talagang malakas sa Diyos? Kung tutusin, katulad ng mga alagad, isa lang ang sagot. Wala sa mga alagad, wala sa labing dalawa, ang pinakadakila. At ganun din sa atin, wala dito ang pinakamalakas sa Diyos. Wala sa ating paligid ang isang bulog lang sa Diyos. Buong pakikinig ng gagamitin ng Diyos ang kanyang tainga, ang kanyang puso upang ipagkaloob ang ating kahilingan. Pero pansin ni Diyo, hindi naman pinagalitan ni Jesus ang mga alagad. Hindi niya pinagsabihan mga ambisyoso. <laughs> Tinanggap ni Jesus ang kanilang kagustuhan na maging dakila. Sabalit binigyan ni Yesus ng paraan, ng daan, paano kayo magiging pinakadakila? At ang simpleng sagot ni Yesus ay sagot ni Yesus para sa atin. 
Gusto niyo maging dakila? Tanggapin niyo ang pinakadakila sa lahat. At sino ang pinakadakila sa lahat? Tanggapin niyo ang Ama sa langit. Madaling sagot yun, tanggapin ang Ama sa langit. Buksan ang puso, ang kalooban sa Ama sa langit. Subalit hindi ganun kadali. Sapagkat ang Ama sa langit ay isinugo ang kanyang kaisa-isang anak. At ang sino mang tumanggap sa anak, ang tatanggap sa Ama. Pero hindi pa rin nagtapos doon. Sinabi ni Jesus o ginawa ni Jesus, tinawag ang isang bata. Isang batang sa tingin ng marami, baliwala. Sa tingin ng marami, etsa puwera. Sa tingin ng marami, walang kahalagahan. At anong sabi ni Jesus? Ang sino mang tumanggap ng isang batang katulad nito, tumanggap sa aking anak, tumanggap sa aking ama. Bukas ang langit para sa mga anak, mga alagad na gustong maging Dakila sa mata ng Diyos. Subarit itinuturo sa atin ni Jesus ang kanyang paraan para maging dakila. At ang paraan yun ay walang iba. Matutun yung tanggapin ang mga taong baliwala sa mata ng lipunan. Matuto niyong tanggapin ang mga taong iniit sa puwera. Sapagkat kasanayan ninyo na at nakasanayan ninyo na kung sino lang yung mahalagang tao, yun ang madalas niyong tinatanggap. Kung sino lang ang may pangalan, yun ang bukas ang inyong mga pintuan para sa kanila. Kung sino lang yung tinitingala, yun din ang inyong tinitingala. Sa Diyos, baliktad. Yung mga taong minamalit niyo, yung mga taong binabaliwala niyo, sa mata ng Diyos, siya ang dakila. At pag natutuhan yung tanggapin ng mga baliwala ng mundo ko, pag hindi nyo hinanap ang titulo, pag hindi nyo hinanap ang kanilang, ang kanilang mamahaling prodo, ang magagarang damit, ang mga pal- malapalasyong tahanan, ang masarap na pagkain kanilang hinihanda para sa inyo, pag natuto nyo tanggapin ang mga walang kwentang tao, kayo'y magiging tunay na dakila sa mata ng Diyos. Magsitayo tayo. Now let us pray to the Father to make us worthy of being His beloved children. After its petition, our response, Eternal Father, we trust in You. Eternal Father, we trust in You. that the Church may become a true instrument in the deepening of the faith of children, we pray. Eternal Father, we trust in You. That government leaders may show deep concern for securing a better tomorrow for all children. May children be free from all forms of abuses, we pray. Eternal Father, we trust in You. That parents may teach their children proper values and provide them training and education, we pray. Eternal Father, we trust in you. That the Sikhs may have childlike confidence in God the Father, 
who cares for them, we pray. Eternal Father, we trust in you. For our Dominican brothers in ministry at Santo Domingo in Quezon City, and Our Lady of the Holy of the Rosary in Manawa, we pray. Eternal Father, we trust in you. That the dead may be led back to the house of the Heavenly Father, we pray. Eternal Father, we trust in you. For the intentions of this Mass and for our own personal intentions, we pray. Eternal Father, we trust in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For to your goodness we have this bread to offer you, which it is given you when hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To your goodness we have this wine to offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you, receive us, we please. Now pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O oh God, we know you bold St. Vincent to imitate what he celebrated in the divine mysteries. Grant that by the power of this sacrifice, we too may be transformed into an oblation acceptable to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of St. Vincent de Paul, you bid your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, taught her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. 
Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. And together with Francis, our Pope, Honesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our parents, brothers and sisters, relatives and friends, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, the Blessed Apostles, Saint Dominic, Saint Vincent de Paul, San Lorenzo Ruiz, and companion martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray with confidence to the Father in the words Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, the Son of Mary. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to partake of his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Up of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let them thank the Lord for his mercy, his wonders for the children of men, for he satisfies a thirsty soul, 
and the hungry he fills with good things. Let us pray. Renewed by this heavenly sacrament, O Lord, we implore that just as you prompted, we are prompted by St. Vincent's example to imitate your son in his preaching of the gospel to the poor, so too we may be sustained by his prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Orazio Imperata. Oracio Imperata, for protections against the COVID-19 virus. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protections against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand. Dispel the fear of sickness and death restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless your efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body. Strength in their commitment. Protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant internal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversions and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, Lanabal de Manila. Pray for us. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calusol. Pray for us. Santo Domingo de Guzman. Pray for us. All Dominican holy men and women of God. Pray for us. Salamat sa pagkisa sa banal na misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Remain in God's peace. Thanks be to God.